So we just implement the, the Edge Services Gateway and now we're going to implement the logical router. Um, the second type of this NS6 Edge is uh, basically a distributed router. It's a virtual appliance that can act as a router and it will basically um, route the different subnets that you create virtually or well, in different port groups. It, it's able to route that to the edge. Let me start by creating a logical switch and I'm going to create it Okay, so transport to from LDR to ESG or the other way around, and I'm going to create the global transport zone for, or uh, select the global transport zone for now. And I'm also create another transport zone. Transport um, inside. So this will be my inside network. Transport zone, yes. And now we see two different transport zone or or not transport zone logical switches, uh, which are basically uh, just VLANs. So let's go back to the NSX Edge. So now we're going to add the logical distributed router. Host name is going to be Lab NSX. Zero one type in the password and enable SSH. Not going to enable high availability for this one as well. Only going to create one instance. So let's select the correct cluster, data store, and the host that I'm going to want to uh, implement it on. Next, so this is the management interface so I want to manage my my router through this one here VLAN 11 is my management network let's assign a management IP address for that okay and let me configure actually two other interfaces so one is going to be the uplink and that one is going to be to the edge and I created the transport zone for that and the other oh wait let me first give it a name and this is going to be my outside interface I'm not going to configure any subnets yet or I can let me think what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to just come to create a transfer network. Two five three two four and I'm going to create or use the two five four for my edge. So that's it okay. This one was the outside. I'm not going to create any internal interfaces yet. Just want to have a, a, a connection to the edge, and I, I want to be able to manage it. So, the outside will be one and two, two five four, one, two five four, one, one. Eight, losing it here. 11.254 yes that's it and as we can see here we see my management IP address we see that I'm going to have it on the resource pool management and edge on this host using this data store no folder this is the outside interface of my router um, and I'm going to give it this IP address and here we see that it's installing again and it's being deployed. So we now see that it's fully deployed. Um, let me verify one more thing.
as you can see here my inside interface is not connected to this transport network yet so let me create that and I want to have an internal IP address 168.11.254 so now I'm sure that my logical router which is the 253 and also on this network uh, can connect to the 254 um, make no mistake no so yeah so this one is 254 which is connected to this network here and the 253 is the router so they can actually ping each other let me try to see if are actually installed. Here I can see the LDR and the ESG. Let me go to the ESG and launch the console. And let me go to the LDR and also launch the console. And you can see that I can log in. Let me try to log in. And the same applies for the LDR as well. There you go. Let me try to see if I can ping myself. Is ping a valid command? Yes. IP. and I'm able to ping myself if the Mac has a funny thing in doing things so I probably need to hit control control here and see there or control here and see there it's a little bug of ESX and the Mac that you need to ping so let me try to ping my other side and that works as well Do the same on the LDR. Let's do ping IP 192.168.11.253. I'm always pinging myself first. That works. And now ping my neighbor, ESG. And this one will probably not work because the ESG has is, is is actually blocking the ICMP messages. So I'll come back to this later how to enable this.